27 transporting a 60 year old white male. Possible cardiac. No BP. Patient is unresponsive. <laughs> Nearly 60% of all the health care professionals you see in hospitals are people educated at community colleges nationally. So we wanted to make sure that we mirror that kind of statistic in our community. So this facility then is to prepare students to go out there and be outstanding professionals. The hospital is not a place for experimentation. We want them ready. They step in and they start working immediately and this facility makes that possible for us. I actually enjoyed this room in particular, the one that we're in, is the simulation rooms because it really kind of helps us adapt to the situations that would arise in an emergency or in a critical care thinking scenario. So. When we're in these rooms, we're prepared to be put into that position so when it happens in real life, we actually know what we're doing. Uh, yeah, this building took many years to plan. Um, it was actually a labor of love. We had a great team working on the design and the overall look that we were going for was a hospital environment so that when students come into the building, they feel like they're in the real setting. And um, we wanted it to be comfortable. We wanted it to be a learning environment where students enjoyed coming and spending quite a bit of time learning their um, various technical fields. I think that one of the things that the students really appreciate, the ones that have graduated from um, our program and, and actually had the benefit of, of the building and everything that it has to offer, is all the equipment that they have to practice on. Uh, one of the things that uh, was included um, in our, our building plans was to have uh, an actual Energize lab. We also have the demo unit that the students have to practice on, but we also have uh, a state-of-the-art mobile fluoroscopy C-arm unit that the students have to practice on, and also a digital uh, portable x-ray machine. And we recently acquired a, a digital mammography unit for our new mammography program. So the, the college is very supportive in giving us the state-of-the-art equipment to give our students pr to practice on so they can go out into those clinical sites and feel very comfortable that they know what they're doing. Well, ECC had uh, two main objectives. One, if you look at the, uh, the programmatic needs of, of the health services and, and, life, and life sciences, was the primary purpose of the building, but also the secondary purpose was this would be the front door of the campus. It takes, it takes a collaboration of architects, structural engineers, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, and designers to come together to make one vision. Well, it makes me feel that, okay, a new day, a new challenge, and um, opportunity to learn new skill. I think it's state of the art. Um, I mean, you can go up on the third floor and they have an interactive hospital type setting. Um, they have like a pediatric type setting and um, it's something that I wasn't expected to, expecting to see. Um, and even if you even go into like anatomy labs, um, we have cadaver labs, we have a lot here for students to actually use, um, which some other colleges might not offer to their students. You need to know that it starts with the stimulus being received by a receptor. For me as an educator, one of the things I like is our, our labs, our classrooms are set up so that I can stream in video. I can do PowerPoint. I can write on the board. You know, I can, so I can use both new and old technologies. We've got facilities that really allow us to teach in a variety of modalities that will allow us to do group work and individual work and get the students engaged. We also, I'm very pleased to say, have great safety features in all the labs, everything from ventilated hoods, eye wash stations, and so forth, that make the lab a safer environment or 
I can turn off the electricity in the whole classroom just by throwing a switch at the instructor's station if there's, a, if there's an electrical issue. So it's a much safer environment to teach our, our students in, too, and that's important to us as well. Well, for me, for someone who's job transitioning, just to come into very uh, bright, optimistic surroundings is, is a good uplift for me because, you know, having come from that situation where, you know, I don't know where I'm going to transition you to something where I have a, I have a clear direction in this program. Um, I think it's very helpful to have a facility that supports kind of a positive outlook. This program was the most challenging thing I've ever been through. Um, it's tested me in so many ways. It's taught me a lot about myself. Um, it's it's the, one of the greatest feelings ever to, to accomplish just because of all the hard work that we've put into it. And now that we're going to graduate, it's like the biggest weight just like lifted off your shoulders. It's, it's really amazing.